In this tutorial, I'm gonna go through how to deal with uh, objects that are being passed from one box to another, or how to deal with objects that are actually overhanging your grid, which is essentially the same thing. Um, we're gonna basically work on this composite image, um, getting that uh, ruler to be passed from one box to the other, such as this right here. Um, if you need help with the basic edit of this nine box, check out the description below for the previous video where we walked through how to get your files into this template, how to resize them and shape them appropriately. And uh, if you need help getting your images from Lightroom over to Photoshop and how I prepare those images, uh, there's another video as well. So I'll come down here quickly and we'll start working on this ruler. Uh, and as well, there's one little spot here where his foot seems to come out past the uh, past the box as well. So to do this, we're gonna basically use layer masks and uh, a layer mask allows you to hide certain parts of an image uh, simply by using your brush tool to paint over those areas. So I'll do this here because it's a little simpler, a little quicker uh, as a starting point. Um, what we want is basically to be able to see the rest of his foot over top of our uh, grid lines here or our template. So what I'll do is starting here on the nine box grid layer, I'm going to add a new layer mask, which is this button here. It should pop up for you. And it creates a separate box altogether. Now that's your layer mask. And that's what we're going to paint on to reveal objects over top of the grid lines. To do this, we're gonna use our brush. So I hit the B button to bring up my brush. And using a black brush, um, what happens is if you paint over an area, you'll actually erase that section of the template. So right there quickly, I've just erased a big area of the template. Um, but you can see that his foot is actually visible there. I'm gonna undo that and take a little more time to get his foot a little more accurate. Um, to do this, I like to use the grid uh, section here and reduce the opacity so that I can I can actually see his foot and what I'm trying to uh, reveal. Now I come back to my layer mask, I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm going to, using a black brush again, just paint over his sock and foot where I want it to be revealed. So there I'm just clicking and painting over his foot. Just like that. And so if I come back to my grid layer again and increase the opacity back up to 100%, we can see that I've basically revealed his foot over top of the uh, template. And that's as much as there is to it to get objects that are overhanging your, your uh, template to work. Um, and uh, I'll do the same thing now for the ruler up here where I'm trying to have it passed uh, from this box up to this box. And we'll basically follow the same steps. So we'll Start with the uh, grid layer. I like to reduce the opacity so that I can see what I'm working on. And then I'm going to come over to my uh, layer mask using a black brush once again. I'm gonna paint over what I would like to have revealed. So. You can see as I paint this, it becomes a little clearer. You don't see the, the grid lines. And so I've actually overdone it a little bit there. And that's okay, if you've overdone it, you can use a white brush, which will 
actually repaint or undo um, those sections. So you'll be painting back on the, the layer, uh, the grid lines. So X reveals and white will cover back up. Um, and so I'm going to just do a quick check with my opacity, bring it back up. So there you can see that I've got a little bit too much taken out here. I can see the corner of this photo and I can see the corner of this photo here as well. But I'm also going to need to see the ruler through the grid here. Um, oops. I'm going to need to see the ruler basically through here. So using your black brush, I'll need to see it through here. And it kind of continues up through here. So using, um, basically using the layers and the order that they're in, if I drag this guy up over top of my other ones, you can see that it brings it over top of this image and this image to reveal it as you would with any any layer, um, text layers and that sort of thing. The, the higher they are, the, the more forward they are. So this will now allow me to basically work to finalize that layer mask and get everything cleaned up a little bit. So I've done a pretty rough job. You can see all the edges of the, of the ruler are pretty rough um, and I need to clone out my fingertips that was holding the ruler here. So I'll come back up to the layer mask and just do this, uh, basically just do this quick. You can take as much time as you want here to, to do this, but I'm back on the layer mask with a black brush. I need to reveal this section right here. There's a little bit there of the ruler that I need to reveal, a little bit there. So I've actually uh, overdone it a bit. And what I can do is just go back to my white brush and zoom in and start to bring back the grid lines wherever I would like. And this is where I can even out, I'm gonna even out my ruler a bit as well. Oops. Back to a white brush. I'm just going to do this very quickly so you get an idea of how to do it. You can spend as much time as you want on this. So that gives you a rough idea of how, uh, of how to do layer masks and reveal, reveal your objects. Um, my original selection on my uh, on the ruler here wasn't great, um, as you can kind of see. It's a little it's a little rough, and I would probably take a little more time with with doing this. Now to get rid of some of the parts of the selection that are too big or are showing too much from originally, what you can do is just you find that layer. And you can use a layer mask, the same as what we were just using. Um, using your brush uh, and a black... Oops, where did it go? So again, using your brush <clears throat> and a black brush, it, you can actually remove parts of this image if you want. So like there, I've just erased that section of this image using the layer mask and it's revealing the blue background of the template. So obviously I don't want to do that, but there's some areas up here around the fingertips and stuff that are a little rough um, of, in terms of a selection. So I can come in here and I can erase those sections of, uh, of the background or that, of that image that are a little bit rough.
So again, I'm doing this pretty rough. You want to make sure that, uh, especially for this uh, ruler, that your lines were nice and straight. But just giving you an idea what the black brush would do to an image with a layer mask. So So you can see that it actually removes parts of uh, of the image. So now to my fingertips, I mean, you could simply just erase that section of the ruler um, to get rid of my fingertips and make a nice straight line. Um, or if you needed to, you could go back here to that layer and use your spot healing brush and just paint over it, see what it does. So it, done a little bit of weird something weird up here so I use my layer mask on the black brush just to erase oops yeah my brush black brush sorry to erase that it was still in spot healing so there you have it that's a quick way to deal with uh, the overlaps um, it's using the layer masks I would add a shadow now to this um, to this ruler on each side. I would also add a shadow around here. Check out the next video. I'll do a quick video on how I deal with shadows and add them into uh, into into Photoshop. Thanks for watching, and check out the next video for uh, how to deal with shadows.